Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Gino Reynolds and this is WAND Presents The Real Gino. Today we're going to take a look at a movie that I wish hadn't spoiled everything in its trailer. Today, let's take a look at 65 starring Adam Driver. So, let's do this. Wait, 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 hold up a second. Before I have to spoil some things just like the trailer did, let me give you the pitch for this one the way it should have been. An astronaut transporting cryogenically frozen passengers crash lands on a mysterious planet after a ship is damaged by asteroids. Finding only one passenger alive, it's up to him to find a way to escape the planet, all while being hunted by the planet's monstrous inhabitants. I will say this, this is your last spoiler warning. If you don't want it spoiled, just know that I like this one a lot and you should watch it. Still with me? Okay, let's try it again. Let's take a look at 65 starring Adam Driver. So, let's do this. Clever girl. The atmosphere is breathable. There's something alien out there. See, what did I tell you? If you wouldn't have known that this movie took place 65 million years in the past, it would have been a pretty big shock to find that out, right? While knowing this already didn't ruin my overall experience of the film, not knowing would have made that experience way better. So, how did a man go back in time 65 million years? Is this a time travel movie or something? There's where I'm going to stop with the spoilers. The trailer doesn't tell you how that's possible, so I won't either. Mainly, this movie is about two people trying to survive on a prehistoric planet Earth, but the movie is about much, much more. Along with the how they got there, there is also the reasons why as well. Why is Adam Driver's character in this situation to begin with? Why was he piloting that ship? Why is he so hell-bent on protecting the one living passenger? I mean, other than just being a good man and all. So, do all these other things make this an effective escape thriller? Yes. Yes, they do. I felt that these extra plot points made me care about the two stranded people more. Despite our main character's faults and weaknesses, you know that deep down you still want to see him succeed in escaping the planet. Other reasons I could mention would be big spoilers, so I'll leave it at that. 65 takes what could have been a somewhat forgettable survival story and turns it into a survival story with high stakes and a big heart. If this were some B-level movie or had a less capable actor in it, it probably wouldn't have been as good. Adam Driver is a really great actor, and it's movies like this that show it. He, along with Ariana Greenblatt, who is young Gamora in Avengers Infinity War, by the way, have really good chemistry together. They have trouble communicating at first because, well, let's just say that they are two very different people. It's things like this, along with some really good action, thrills, and effects that make 65 well worth seeing. If you want to see 65, you can still see it in theaters right now. Make sure to follow me on WNDTV.com as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Real Gino. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, also at The Real Gino. That's going to be it for this edition of WND Presents The Real Gino. As always, I am your host, The Real Gino, Gino Reynolds. Till next time.